I report from the Standards Committee meeting uh, that also took place yesterday in the morning. Uh, we had eight participants from seven consortia and the committee discussed essentially a roadmap towards the unification of the information on standards that Clarin centers or also the Clarin uh, ERIC um, should use or uh, what is expected by users uh, from us. Uh, the context uh, why we discuss this uh, problem is that currently uh, lots of Clarin, uh, <coughs> Clarin related, let's state it like this, uh, documents on standards are available. And uh, more um, um, in a way problematic is that there is no cur currently there is no procedure defined um, that uh, states what formats, what standards, clearing centers are supposed to support. And uh, a lot of people uh, mentioned this to us and uh, therefore we <coughs> thought about uh, defining something. So what we, would, what we are aiming at is uh, we need uh, an information system that um, <coughs> the information on standards will be managed and offered as a single resource this is uh, currently we do have distributed resources, but <coughs> uh, as a um, dynamic document that is updated and re-evaluated re uh, by the standards committees and the other relevant bodies. I will talk about the bodies later. And uh, also with results announced, the results of this update process should be made currently uh, openly available and should be announced at the annual clearing conferences. Uh, in this uh, information, uh, yeah, source, uh, the standards are going to be classified amongst others from a functional perspective. So what is the standard for? Uh, in terms of the extent in which client centers are expected to support them. So for instance, SIMD is expected to be supported by all the client, standard, uh, client centers and also in terms of target user groups. We expect that this information uh, uh, help users to understand what conditions where data should be like. So for persons who create new resources, um, their resources, uh, they sometimes wonder which format they should use after all. Um, but this information is also helpful for the centers to make, uh, well, to concentrate their efforts to certain formats that are expected to be supported. Uh, it definitely assists in establishing interoperability, interoperability uh, procedure uh, in Clarion. And uh, it is probably also helpful in assessing new project proposals. So to reach this goal, uh, we need a formal procedure by which Clarion supports, uh, um, by which Clarion support for certain standards is implemented, and the parties involved in this uh, procedures is, of course, the standards committee, but not only the standards committee. So the centers committee and, of course, the board of directors uh, is uh, part of this procedure. And a proposal for such a procedure will be first discussed on the mailing list in the standard committee and then distributed. Uh, to the others. And uh, I do not want to, uh, I would also like to mention that uh, the outcome of this discussion was also already uh, uh, discussed, no, not the outcome, but um, in preparation of this uh, meeting, we also discussed in the beginning of this year with the standards, uh, with the centers committee about the necessity of such a procedure. And this is what we actually came up with. <coughs> 